Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to say something. Please watch video completely. Sit with copy pane. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Given question, in the reported figure, two bodies A and B of masses 200 gram and 800 gram are attached with a system of springs. Springs are kept in a stretched position with some extension with the system is released. The horizontal surface is assumed to be frictionless. The angular frequency will be, means we have find out the angular frequency and radian per second and k is given k equal to 20 Newton per meter. <coughs> have a look of this diagram. What the diagram says, here we have given two blocks A and B which is connected with two springs and spring constant is K and 4K and its mass is 200 and 800 gram. When it is stretched in opposite direction and release it, it brings to be oscillate. In this case, equivalent mass is reduced that we considered mu and mu can be find out M1, M2 upon M1 plus M2. And equivalent spring constant because it is in, uh, it is in a series. So we have using this formula. Is that clear? Now first of all, we substitute the value in the place of k1 is k. Here k2 is 4k and k plus 4k. Here 4k square 5k. K, k cancel out 4 by 5k and k is given 20 then 4 by 5 into 20 means 5 4 is a 20 4 4 is a 16 so equivalent spring constant is 16 now we have to find mu means reduced mass is 0 0.2 0 0.8 0 0.2 plus 0 0.8 then mu equal to a to the 16, 0.16 and minus a 0.2 plus 0.8 means 1. Okay. 1.0 means 1. Now substitute this value in our formula omega equal to root k by mu. So here k is 16 and what is mu? 0.16. Remove the decimal using 1 and after the decimal is 2 digits. So therefore using 2 zero. 16, 16 cancel out, then omega is 10 radian per second. So here is our answer. I hope so. You understand this question. Thank you for dear students staying till the ends of this video. And I know that very well you are working very hard. And if I will be a part of your success journey, that it will be my pleasure. But when more and more students will join with your success journey, then it will be very great things. Thank you once again. Take care.